As we continue our celebration of Earth Week, Maggie Rooley headed to New Mexico to see how one man's trash could be turned into another man's futuristic castle. And as it turns out, the Earth ship has landed. Roswell, New Mexico, 1947. A local newspaper makes national headlines after reporting a flying saucer had crash landed in the nearby town of Corona. This building here, uh, building number 84, is a building I believe that they brought materials from the Corona crash. Since then, New Mexico has been known for all things that are out of this world. And while this story about spaceships is shrouded in mystery, another type of ship is being developed just a few hours away. Hi, Tom. It's so nice to meet you. Welcome to the Earthship Visitor Center and the Greater World Earthship Community. Tom Duke is an expert on Earthships, which it turns out aren't ships at all. They're actually self-sustaining houses. A self-sustaining house heats and cools itself, it harvests water, it recycles water. It's almost like its own little machine or mechanism. It just does it all without any outside influence. So these Earthships won't be out searching for signs of alien life, but the idea behind these housing projects is to create an environmentally friendly way of living for us Earthlings. I wouldn't live in anything but an Earthship. Caitlin Waddell is learning how to build an Earthship from the ground up. She's just one of the young people hoping to join what's called the Earthship Army, which builds homes for people in need around the world. And this is a different option for people. It really gives people hope for the future that they can survive without relying on other people. If you're gonna build a house for someone, for a humanitarian kind of situation, why give someone a house that they're gonna to have to pay bills and have to plug into? Instead of just, let's give them a house that'll take care of them the way it is. To do that, each Earthship is made using recycled materials, things like old tires, cans, and bottles that minimize the amount of cement needed to build. We take two bottles, cut them in half, tape them together, and then you just lay them into the wall and the light will come through this and make a really fancy little brick. The buildings come in all shapes and sizes. It's like entering a castle. Yeah, yeah. This super deluxe Earthship was built entirely by students to be used as student housing. So we're walking on those bottle bricks right now. Yep. These are going to be huge windows, you know, when we get the windows wow, in one day, and that. it's just going to be an enormous greenhouse. And this small home, known as a simple survival Earthship, is designed without a lot of luxuries. In most places in the world, people just need their cell phone charged, and they need their computer charged, and they need lights. And that's what this house does. Each house is solar powered, meaning they collect energy from the sun using solar panels and convert it to electricity. The eight panels we have and these eight batteries gives us all the power we need. We do use a washing machine, we use computers, we use television. I don't feel guilty about using a lot of power because it's power that we're making that we need to use and if we don't use it, it's going to just go away anyway. But that isn't the only bright idea used to design the house. Inside remains a comfortable temp all year round with no heater or air conditioner, thanks to a simple design of tires and mud. What's happening is my house is getting charged up for the evening. Is it warm already? Oh yeah. Oh it's wow, heating it's up. heating up. Yeah. Feel that. That's wild. And so during the nighttime then when it gets cold outside, this will heat the entire home. Yeah, then the heat will get drawn out into the house. But one of the coolest things about Earthships is how they use water. The roofs are designed to catch and harvest all the water into this is a big tank below us. These Earthships collect and filter rainwater. There's probably 5,000 gallons right there that we've caught off the roof just recently. But unlike regular homes, these water wizards don't waste a single drop. After it's collected, it's used in the shower, then again to water their indoor greenhouse then again to flush the toilet. It's pumping 1.6 gallons of recycled gray water into the toilet. It's also getting filtered here. Then again as fertilizer for an outdoor garden, essentially turning your poop into potpourri. And so the fourth use of the water actually helps grow your backyard. Yeah. I mean, as you can tell out here, it's very dry, hard to grow anything. But this 20 by 40 little black water containment cell, every it's summer beautiful. is just full of plants and all the plants are absorbing my family's sewage. Let's go check out my home for the night. These futuristic Earthships prove that a self-sustaining home might not be such an alien idea after all. Not bad, right? Maggie Rooley, Channel One News. 
Now, you don't have to live in an Earthship city to help the environment. To see how other cities across the country are going green, just head to channel1.com. And that's going to do it for us today. We'll see you tomorrow.